Hello everyone, this is Lawrence checking in for the Batman Statue Collector. Chris, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to review this statue for the channel. Really appreciate that. And um, so we'll just get right on into it here. We're going to review the 1 5th scale Tila EX statue from Tweeterhead. And so, as most of you are probably aware, I'm a huge Masters of the Universe fan. Chris knew that I was getting in some of uh, these pieces from Tweeterhead, actually all of the pieces that they're gonna make, uh, I hope to get in from them. And so um, we thought it was a great opportunity to add some content to the channel and hopefully uh, give you guys a review of uh, this particular piece. And um, so we'll get into it with that. As you can see, uh, this is a really nicely done statue. Um, the portraits are beautiful. This is the exclusive version. It does come with two portraits that are held in there. Uh, very strong, uh, great magnets. Um, just the paint is on point. Pretty eyes, uh, pretty lips. Everything is done very well. A lot of detail in her headpiece and her hair. Um, really a top-notch piece. She does come with a second portrait that I will show you. It is with longer hair and a ponytail. Also a very well-done portrait. Great skin tone. Great lips. Great eyes. Great detail in the hair and the headpiece once again. This piece also comes with multiple arm switch outs. You do have to take off there's a back piece of her wardrobe of fur. And when you do that, then you can take out the arms. The arms are one piece with the weapons. They don't come out, um, but they do key in there really nicely with a, with a very large key, uh, really strong magnet on that too. Um, I always look for detail in the hands with things that don't need to be seen. and. These look really nice. They did a really nice job uh, for the fingers and the, the fingertips and the fingernails and those sorts of things. So um, I don't have any concerns about that. You can see a lot of detail in the sword. Um, classic from the action figure. And then um, her bracer on her arm. Very cool armor piece. And then the ringlet around her um, arm as well so that's very nice and then it, the second arm that that side comes with has her snake like staff uh, you can see that here again kind of an homage back to the classics uh, figure um, that was released also um, the staff is done really well with the snake motif all the way wrapped around it from top to bottom. And then uh, the other piece looking like a wooden staff. Very good detail on that. And uh, that's what that looks like keyed in, just like that. And we can put on the long portrait. So you can tell she looks great, even great work on like the ears. Um, I'm always really impressed when they can do ears that look really good too. Ears I think are really difficult to do. Um, her other arm does come off as well. Um, and that is what carries her shield. Again, shield is indicative of the action figure type shield. What's so great about these tweeter head pieces is they really kept a lot of the, um, I guess classic or original sort of looks to these things that you grew up with as a kid, uh, but they've just made them so modern. So you get this really cool take um, with both the Sideshow and the uh, Tweeter head pieces that have continued uh, with the One Fifth Masters line. Uh, it's a really just cool option uh, for Masters of the Universe fans out there to get a stationary version of these characters that we loved so much growing up with. Um, everything keys in really nicely. The base, um, she is on a Castle Grayskull style base that uh, 
matches the He-Man statue uh, that was originally done by Sideshow. So a really cool sort of um, way to keep that in alignment with the original pieces that were done uh, for the One Fifth Masters line. Flipping it around on this side, you can see there's the Orlax, uh, the monster that is uh, kept in the bowels, uh, imprisoned in Castle Grayskull. Um, and that's kind of a an homage to the original Castle Grayskull toy. Now, if you remember that toy, it had the stickers uh, with like the monster uh, down in the, down where uh, the, underneath the prison area or, or whatever you want to call it with the toy, but that is from one of the stickers in the toy. So it's a really nice touch by Tweeterhead to keep sort of, again, all those classic elements that we grew up with and know and love with these particular figures. You can see she looks absolutely great there. <clears throat> she has the bodice piece that would be, um, again, in alignment with what uh, her action figure toy was. Uh, same with the boots. Um, Really nice detail and shading on any of the feathered pieces or the fur pieces for the cape. So they aren't fur, they're sculpted, um, but they are painted very well. Um, they, they look really, really great. Easy to key everything in, no issues keying anything in. Um, really just a lot of great things to say about this piece. The paint on the body, and I'll actually go ahead and kind of take everything off here so I can give you a closer up look. It's all done really, really well. Um, there's no bleed anywhere that I have seen. Um, again, she keys in very easy, pops right in and out of there. Um, again, I'm not worried about her head falling. That is a strong magnet. It's not going anywhere. Um, you can see kind of the detail on her bodice piece at the top there. Um, and great skin tone again on the chest, the face, everything matches really well in terms of skin tone. Um, there's a picture of that ass. And then um, you can certainly see uh, she's got beautiful legs. And then again, um, her pose, her posture, just a picture of strength. Um, one key keyhole here for this, pops right in, no problem. I did get mine directly from Tweeterhead. Uh, no problems with shipping or anything like that. So no concerns there. Again, everything keys in super easy, super smooth. And she's easy to move if you need to. I can pick this up, not worry about it going anywhere. So it's really easy to put back into my collection uh, where she's displayed uh, without having to worry about pieces falling off or pieces dropping or anything like that. So just really a top-notch piece again. 10 out of 10 for me uh, as, a, as a Masters of the Universe fan. She's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, beautiful face, beautifully sculpted. Excellent paint jobs. Again, I don't see any sort of run over on any of the paint and any of the gold, any of the line work that is done with the gold um, to the bodice suit uh, and all the white. Uh, it's got some nice little shading on there as well. Um, yeah, really, this is just a top notch piece. Tweeter had knocked it out of the park once again. Uh, they do on all of the pieces I've got from them. I have their original Skeletor bust their uh, one-fifth Batman uh, and Joker statues. I've got their Orko statue. I've got their Hordak statue. And I plan to get all of the other ones that they're releasing Merman on pre-order. Um, when Trapjaw goes on pre-order, I'll, I'll add that to the mix as well. Life-size Skeletor bust on pre-order. Um, it's just one of the best statue companies out there right now in terms of quality. And you just can't beat it. So I hope that's a good enough review. Um, not greatest at these sorts of things, but again, she's beautiful. If you've been on the fence about her, I think that there are still some available um, from sideshow.com and uh, definitely order you, order her. She's she's worth every penny. Um, absolutely beautiful. So, and again, thanks Chris for uh, allowing me the time to do this and um, we'll see you uh, guys 
Uh, Chris, we'll see you back in the Batcave, and I'll see you in Grayskull. Bye.